Welcome to our lesson about working with feature-driven patterns. In my graphic area, I've got a part containing an M5-sized hole. Here's a curved-based pattern, and I used it to pattern this hole along this elliptical edge. Now let's bring in a screw to fit inside these holes. An M5 flathead screw. I'm going to mate the screw to the seed feature, which is currently highlighted in the graphic area here in blue. Let's activate the toolbox. Currently, it's not added in, so let's add in now. Let's expand the toolbox branch, the metric branch, bolts and screws, and machine screws. Here's the flathead screw. Before you drag and drop it in, be sure you're working at the assembly level. Let's release the left mouse button. Press the tab key to flip the orientation of the screw, and let's release the mouse to place it. Now we'll choose a size, M5, click OK, and cancel out. SolidWorks automatically adds coincident mates, as you see here. Now let's activate the feature-driven component pattern tool. First, I select the component to pattern. It'll be this new screw. Then we select the driving feature, one of these holes. Here's my preview in blue line. We can choose some instances to skip if needed. And let's click Accept. And this concludes our lesson about creating a feature-driven pattern.